Howdy folks, welcome back to another video. I'm half asleep, so I might sound a little out of it, but is it really a KijiCon video if he isn't half passing out the entire time while recording? That being said, I'm going to talk about something that's been talked about over and over again for the last several months, but I wanted to chip in my own two cents. That being Animal Jam reskins. If you somehow didn't know already, a reskin is when Animal Jam takes a pre-existing animal, changes the textures on it a bit, and then sends it out as a quote-unquote new animal for the month. They say that this is a reimagining of their old animals, but I would say that using the term reimagining isn't entirely transparent. To reimagine something means to make anew, but it really is just a retexturing. I don't know why they say reimagining on their Instagram, it's just a retexturing. And if it was just occasionally, I think the community would be entirely fine with the occasional retextured animal. However, as time has passed recently, reskinned animals have become more and more frequent, to the point we have been getting them for several months in a row now. Even though sometimes they are paired along normal new animals, or now mythological animals, reskins have become very, very prevalent, and the community is not happy. The situation involving reskins in Animal Jam reminds me a lot of when super boxes were new to the game. When super boxes were a new concept at Animal Jam, Animal Jam was making a new super box about every month or so. It was a very frequent thing and people were worried that super boxes would be the new head honcho feature of Animal Jam. However, as the month subsided, we've seen now that super boxes went from being every month to, you know, every once in a blue moon, which I do think is a pretty healthy balance that they ended up bouncing out with the premium shop, which is a shop and game that allows you to buy essentially premium items for real life money, which that is a whole other controversy on its own that I'm not going to cover in this video. But essentially, people aren't too worried anymore about super boxes since they aren't as prevalent as they used to be. However, where super boxes have died down, reskins have seemed to take its place. And I'm going to cover a couple of the arguments from both sides of the spectrum before giving my own opinion. So I'm going to start with the objectives. Why are reskins a thing? Outside of the fact that reskins exist to give new players the ability to play old animals in a sort of somewhat reimagined form, they also exist to save resources for other parts of Animal Jam's development. If you haven't noticed, for the last several months, essentially since October, Animal Jam have been pumping out some pretty nice new content into the game. Of course, these huge updates haven't been every month, but they are the kind of updates that take several months to make, such as the dark side versus light side event and the new release of mythological animals, which I'm not even gonna lie, designing a mythological animal is going to be a lot more difficult than designing a regular new animal for the game. For example, if I'm going to make a brand new animal, let's say the river otter, and I was going to have to entirely make a brand new model, brand new textures, brand new sizing, make sure all the items fit on it properly, make brand new animations and make sure those animations display properly, make sure essentially everything works with this new animal. It's going to take a long time and a lot longer than it would take to make a reskin. When you make a reskin animal, quite literally all you're doing is just changing the color mapping and the texturing on the animal's surface. All of the animations remain the same. All of its movements, its sizing, its properties remain the exact same, except maybe it looks a little bit different because of a changed texture, which can be as simple as swapping a file, or depending on how they do their modeling, I'm not entirely sure, you might have to manually draw on the texture. I'm not really sure what they use to model. Whereas when making a brand new animal, it's tons of steps that go as far back as making stuff like uh, concepts and having those concepts approved and altered however Wildworks sees fit before even actually going into the phase of modeling, let alone animating, rigging, all of that sort of stuff. I am sure that when a new, like fully brand new animal comes to Animal Jam, it has most likely been in work in progress for months. And so it's understandable that if they're going to be making things like new updates with new mini games, new features, and an entirely new category of animals, it makes sense that they'd need to cut back on other departments in order to save resources for the new things. Especially when it comes to mythological animals. Unlike other animals, including dinosaurs from super boxes in the past, mythological animals have an entirely new method through which they are both obtained and their traits are decided. Not only are they just a new animal that need to have a new model and new animations and new rigging, on top of all of that, these have variable traits. In the past, Animal Jam dinosaurs had the chance to get a little bit of a different texture, but outside of that, 
they were the same. The colors were different, but that was just a randomizer, like you could get from any other token pet. Whereas for the mythological animals, not only are the colors randomized, but there's an entirely new currency system in the form of wishing coins in which these are decided. And additionally, you can get unique parts and unique shapes and patterns. It's just a lot more. You have to model all of the different hair and all of the different fur, make sure they're rigged properly. You need to change all of the different horns for all the different types of horns. You need to program stuff in like the size differences, the ability to get twins. There are a lot more going in to unicorns than even dinosaurs and super boxes or brand new animals. So it makes sense that that's going to take more resources. It makes sense that you're going to get a reskin. However, I feel like, and a lot of other people feel like, there are better ways to go about this. Of course, people are going to be upset when reskins happen, but that's also because they haven't really publicly addressed the reason why they're doing the reskins. Of course, as some of the older animal jammers, we can probably determine the reason they're doing it is to save resources. It doesn't mean we don't have to be upset with it. We're allowed to be upset with whatever we want. That's like the whole thing about consuming media. You could be upset and hate whatever you want, no matter how reasonable or unreasonable it is. Why make reimagined and sometimes uglier versions of animals that already exist when you already have a massive roster of animals that haven't been in-game available for purchase for years. Why not just let people get the old animal? Why not keep bringing animals back to stores? Of course, there's some people who have a superiority complex and believe that these animals should not be brought back to stores because it makes them look rarer when they have an animal that has been released in a long time. But in the grand scheme of things, most people would be happy to have the opportunity to play an animal that hasn't been out in ages. And that excitement while technically still palpable when using reimagined versions of those animals, it's definitely tampered by the fact that it's at a reimagining or a reskin as opposed to the original. I have a feeling that if Animal Jam just brought back the old animals, people would be a lot less upset. Or, hear me out here, if they still want to design a new one every month, they could just do the reskin as a premium shop alternative. Or do the reskin as, you know, just an alternative that you could buy in the Sapphire shop along with the old animal re-released. In fact, if they even if they just re-released the old animal, not only would I think people would be a little bit happier, but that would be even more resources saved. So that's what I don't really understand about the reskins. And a lot of other people are upset and confused as well. When I hear people talk about reskins, the response is overwhelmingly negative. People saying that Animal Jam is lazy, which I don't quite agree with, but plenty of people are saying that they're lazy, that they're cutting back on the content that they're developing each month while simultaneously taking more money from its player base by including new things in the premium shop, some of which are, I'm not even going to lie, borderline ripoffs, but people are saying that, oh, they're getting more money while simultaneously giving out less content. And I feel like that's a very narrow way to view things because yes, some month's updates like January's was very boring. Some of them are a bit lackluster and a bit bare bones, but that's in exchange for larger grandiose updates for upcoming months. And I think that it's a pretty fair trade-off. Of course, I think that it could have been handled a little bit differently, and I can't say that I'm thrilled with free skins, but at least I can understand it. But what I am not going to do is, like, White Knight Wilds works. Like, some of the people that I see who are vehemently defending reskins with, like, their entire lives, because... There have been some arguments for reskins that are just as ridiculous as some of the arguments against reskins. One thing I see a lot that I find to be the most ridiculous argument is just be happy with what you get. If you don't like it so much, why don't you just like not buy it? That is a misnomer. You are allowed to be upset with anything. Listen, Animal Jam could release like major anniversary update where they re-release every single animal ever in the game and i am allowed to be like um that was a stupid decision and i think that now because all of the animals are back in animal jam that makes none of them rare and it makes none of them interesting anymore do i think that that is a st i'm not gonna say stupid but do i think that that is a uh, questionable decision to hold yeah but you are entitled to have an opinion on anything you don't owe a game company 
anything. You don't owe them your satisfaction. You don't need to be quote unquote grateful for them for releasing an update. Sure, Animal Jam Classic hasn't received an actual genuine large update in probably years at this point, but just because they're getting less than we are doesn't mean we need to be grateful to a game company. And it's not like Animal Jam or Wildworks is a little tiny indie game studio either. It's very much not. Wildworks has been around for quite a long time now. In fact, I'm willing to bet that the company is older than a lot of people watching this video right now, and they're not a little tiny itsy bitsy game studio. They're not. And sure, they may have been struggling in the past financially, but they were bought out recently by Nazara Industries, which sure, they're not going to get the entirety of their budget from Nazara, but they do have something to fall back on now. They do have extra hands, and they are doing perfectly fine on their own. Animal Jam, being a children's game company, is going to be a little bit more friendly and a little bit more personal than most other game companies like EA or Nintendo is with its player base. But that's simply because Animal Jam is a edutainment game and does engage pretty frequently in their community, which I do like quite a bit. However, Animal Jam doesn't care about you. They care about you the same corporate way that if you go to Disneyland, the employees will care about you. It is still their job. They, they won't care about you as an individual. And you have... You aren't, like, required to care about them or be thankful or grateful or anything. You can still want more and still ask for more and still desire more while enjoying the game. You can criticize something you love. So, overall, my opinion on reskins are as follows. Do I like reskins? No. But do I understand why reskins need to exist? And do I think that the reason that they exist is valid? Yeah. Do I think that people are allowed to love and be happy with reskins? Yeah. But do I also think that reskins could have been handled in a way that would have made the community a little bit happier and that I think could have improved the game? Also, yes. I am genuinely pretty excited to see what Animal Jam has for us in store for 2024. I know I could be pretty critical on the company, but I have been enjoying what I have been seeing recently. Even with all of the premium shop, the super boxes, and all of the quote-unquote money-hungry stuff, they have been releasing some absolutely banger updates. And sure, they're releasing reskins, but the new animals they have been bringing are pretty great. Even after I got over the initial weird-out factor of the unicorns and mythological animal being in Animal Jam, they're pretty cool. And a lot of their original animals for the, for the year of 2023 were honestly really great and I'm really excited to see what they have in store and I just don't think that a lot of y'all should be getting as heated to the point that you are over the reskins yes are you allowed to be upset 100% are you guys able to like have respectful debates and conversations yes but I have seen people going to the point of accusing people who like reskins as being animal jam stands or toxically positive and I've seen on the other hand of things people who are being negative towards reskins being called toxic and haters and that they just hate on animal jam all the time and they have no good opinions how about everybody just take a deep breath and like learn that other people have different opinions and speaking of different opinions let's hear a couple of other people's opinions on reskins before i close out today's video animal reskins are kind of just whatever um you know you can live without them but i do think that they're good for the game not in the way you may think more of it gives animal jam more time to put more detail into new updates and more effort like for example the new unicorns and crystallis which i think is really cool now look don't get me wrong i love the reskins being added to the game the pumpkin spice flying fox is clean the snowflake red panda is adorable the sunset siamese cat is actually really cool however this many in a row should be labeled as a war crime not to mention that from the teaser there's probably another one coming up in february where's all the new stuff i mean you know i won't judge it clearly works because if it didn't they wouldn't keep doing it but at the same time i will judge because i like having new stuff so i hope really soon we get something that's completely fresh and completely new but, you know, if we don't, I won't be complaining, because I like the reskins. My opinion on reskins? Well, I do like them in a way that it gives people an opportunity to have the animals that, you know, some jammers didn't get when they were out, because maybe they weren't playing. And so they have, a, they have an opportunity to get it, but if it's the only thing you're letting out, then it's kind of boring. 
because like they're all animals that have just been recolored in a different pattern and you can't really do anything about that but um I mean they're good but please be more creative and let out new animals and not just reskins maybe make it like and I don't know each year you get a different one that you just re-release -re in a different pattern. I don't know. That's my opinion. Now, as a fan of fully new animals being added into the game, I can say that reskins suck. They're like afterthoughts to an update. You know, like, uh, the, oh, we need to have a mandatory animal. The, the sunset Siamese cat. Sure, we'll go with that. I can understand bigger updates having reskins because they have to spend more resources on bigger things like Crystallis, but smaller updates having them honestly feels very hollow and cheap. While I'm not totally in love with reskins, I honestly prefer it to the alternative, which would be either no animal, no monthly animal at all, or a really half-baked, ugly, uninspired animal each month. I'd rather Animal Jam put out reskins of existing animals than not work on other important features because I'm sure making a reskin instead of a fully modeled and rendered animal saves a lot of time so that they can focus on putting into other aspects of the game like new features and new games and updates to existing content and bug fixes. So I try to look at it as, yes, we may be getting a reskinned animal, but more time and resources are going into updating existing features or adding even new and better features to the game. So I personally don't mind them at all. Reskins are a real hot topic nowadays since AJHQ gave us three in a row, that being the Pumpkin Spice Flying Fox, the Snowflake Red Panda, and the Sunset Siamese Cat. While I understand why people are upset, I also personally don't really care. Now, I would understand the hate if it was a reskin of an animal that was still in the shop, like a reskin monkey. But if it's a reskin of an animal that has been in the shop for a long while, I don't complain. I see reskins as a way to get access to animals I haven't been able to get when I was on hiatus. But with everything, opinions are opinions. I don't really care about reskins. Well, yeah, I would prefer a new animal or at least an older one coming back to the shop. If I get a reskin, that's fine. People will complain and complain. It's impossible to please everyone. I find reskins interesting. I like the pumpkin spice bat. I don't like it. That was a lie. I really like the red panda. But like, if they're done tactfully and tastefully, especially like the spring bunny, because that was in classic first. I never got that one in classic, but they're really nice if done tastefully. But if they're not, then um, they look like the pumpkin spice bat and that's not exactly tasteful, is it? So I don't like them. So, yeah, that's like the whole opinion piece on Animal Jam reskins. I feel like the tensions are a lot higher than they need to be, and honestly, there's a lot more that I'm worried about. That's why I haven't really talked about them yet, and that's kind of also why I haven't talked about like the premium shop stuff, because yeah, there's a lot of drama about the premium shop, and I'll probably get to it eventually when I'm like out of ideas, but that probably won't be for a while yet, because I have a whole list of ideas of stuff that I want to do with so little time to do it all. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I hope you guys enjoy that I'm doing a little more cameos for my friends now in my videos. Honestly, let me know in the comments if you like it when friends who pops in for an appearance in my videos. Let me know if you don't like it. Let me know who your favorite member of friends soup is. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all around.